tomorrow is officially the first day of summer, but as the sunshine and temperatures heat up, it's important to remember to protect your skin. This morning, dermatologist Dr. Carly Whittington is here from IU Health uh, to talk about this. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, really important, I know I have little kids, I'm always putting sunscreen on them. Why is it so important to protect your skin, especially during the summer? I think the number one reason is skin cancer. Mm -hmm. So we know that after years of exposure, cumulative exposure, and actually short bursts of, say, blistering sunburns, you can actually increase your risk of skin cancer by quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. The second thing is aging. So we age wrinkles, uh, what our grandparents used to call liver spots. They're actually uh, sunspots, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, brown spots that appear because of the sun's damage to the skin. So what are the best ways then to protect your skin? I immediately think of sunscreen, but yeah. there are other sunscreen in other ways too, right? Yes, exactly. So we used to say, well, actually sunscreen is great, right? So using sunscreen can definitely protect your skin from the sun, but also new protective strategies like staying out of the sun um, between the peak hours. So generally in the summertime, it's 10 to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, also wearing sun protective clothing. So sun protective clothing is often dry fit, kind of like it wicks the sweat away and it has UPF. So it's similar to SPF, sun protection factor that's in sunscreens. But if you don't want to have the mess, wear sun protective clothing. They're usually long sleeves. Uh, they make hats. They make bathing suits. Um, those are definitely ways that you can protect your skin. Are those like the long sleeve uh, bathing suits that a lot of kids have? Yes, that's yes, it. Okay. yes. But Go ahead. Uh, well, then when it comes to actually sunscreen, what are the types of sunscreen that are yes. out there? So not all sunscreens are created equal. So we have our mineral sunscreens and then our chemical sunscreens. And there is a difference. Both are available uh, over the counter, but mineral sunscreens contain either one of two or both ingredients, um, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Now these sunscreens generally do not cause irritation to the skin um, and they rest on top of your skin to protect your skin from the sun, mm -hmm. um, which is good. It tends to be very good for babies and young children uh, who have, and for those who have very sensitive skin. The other type of sunscreen, chemical sunscreens, contain, well, chemicals, uh, words that are very hard to pronounce like avabenzone, oxybenzone, octanoxate, etc. Uh, those are actually absorbed into the skin. Mm. And from studies that have been published in the medical literature, we actually know that those ingredients are found in the bloodstream um, even after one use. Now, that doesn't mean that it's bad but we know that they get absorbed. So, and they also can cause a contact dermatitis if you're allergic to any of the ingredients in those sunscreens. So chemical sunscreens, um, if you have very sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend gearing more towards the mineral sunscreens. How do you know, is, is one just gonna be the spray on or is there an obvious difference? And is there a better sunscreen when it comes to the one you put on your skin or spray on? Really, really good questions. So the first thing is that the chemical sunscreens tend to be the spray ones. Okay. So I know that a lot of my patients, they love the spray on sunscreens because it's easy, it's convenient, but when I have used spray sunscreens in the past, typically half of it ends up in the wind mm -hmm. or accidentally in my mouth, um, and you don't get an even application. And so that's the first thing is just you don't know where it's going. Mm. So if you're gonna use them, use them in a well-ventilated area and make sure you rub it in equally so you get equal coverage. Okay. Um, but yeah, the spray tend to be the chemical sunscreens. In general, if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen, it should stay on the container um, and it should definitely say mineral sunscreen. And when you're looking for sunscreens, not all are created equal. Okay. I usually recommend it has to be 30 SPF or higher, but the higher the better. So if you can get a hold of 50, 80, even better. The second one is broad spectrum. So you want it to cover UV, UVA and UVB rays, which are all part of the sun's um, radiation. And then also water resistance. So we mm. all sweat, even if you're not jumping in a pool, um, we all sweat and it comes off, which means it's not protecting your skin from the sun. And then probably need to reapply too Absolutely. over the course of the day. Absolutely. Gosh, I think I'm, I've, I thought I knew so much about sunscreens and sun protection, but I just learned so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here once again with us, Dr. Carly Whittington. Okay.